two and a half battalions of Hoosier veterans. That's how many vets in Indiana have been lost to suicide. Data from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs shows between 2001 and 2019, almost 2,600 Hoosier vets took their own lives. It's critical that mental health care through the VA is readily available to vets here in Indiana. Chief Investigator Steve Brown reports that there are reasons, though, to doubt that it is. Out of the Routabush VA Hospital in Indianapolis, two different stories. The one they're telling us and the one they're telling higher ups at the VA. Now, the watchdog for the VA is the office of the Inspector General. Last September, it put out an annual census on staffing shortages at all VA hospitals. Routabush reported a severe staffing shortage in psychiatry. We feel it's important. Dr. Julie Kroviak of the VA Inspector General's office explains. The data we have is what they're reporting. We're not validating it. We're not, you know, checking their numbers. So this is self-reported? Correct. With this self-reported severe staffing shortage, we were wondering about staff vacancies and asked Routabush about that. In an email, they told us there are 31 psychiatrists on board and one vacancy currently. So we asked Dr. Kroviak, could a facility be at full staff in a clinical specialty and still believe it is severely short staffed? Yes. So this is not looking at vacancies. It's actually looking at what they're defining their need as to provide care. That got us wondering about wait times. If the demand for psychiatry appointments was growing, even with dozens of psychiatrists, those wait times might get longer. And then we found this research published last year on VA wait times. The report drawn from data mined directly from the VA's corporate data warehouse. It's an automated scheduling system. So when the person you know, at a VA facility making an appointment for a veteran you know, puts in their appointment, that actually gets automatically transferred to you know, our nationwide data warehouse. So when they make an entry, that's the data the VA gets. Exactly. All the data that Dr. Griffith and his colleagues collected they shared it with us. Now, there aren't numbers for every month of every year, but this is what we found. As recently as April of last year, there was a 51-day wait for an individual psychiatry appointment. We also found 55-plus day waits for mental health clinic appointments. To see the PTSD clinical team, 132 days. Psychological testing, almost half a year. Those do seem like pretty long wait times for veterans seeking those mental health services, but in an email, a Router Bush spokesman wrote that the VA as a whole is meeting the mental health needs of veterans nationwide. I'm not surprised you're saying that, but the data doesn't lie. Darren Selnick was a Veterans Affairs advisor to former President Trump and worked for the VA for almost a decade. He worries delayed care could lead to tragedy, especially for vets just out of the service. The most dangerous part for a veteran is that first year. They have double the suicide rate the first year after they leave the service. The statistics are in incredible. Indiana Republican Congressman Jim Banks sits on the House Veterans Affairs and Armed Services Committees. On the quality of mental health care at the VA, Banks was complimentary. The VA does this very well for veterans who are able to access it, but the, the wait times are astonishingly too long. This begs a lot of questions that uh, we certainly will be uh, pushing the VA to answer. Congressman Banks was a sponsor of the Mission Act, a federal law crafted to fix long wait times for VA appointments. Now, if a vet has to wait more than 20 days or has a drive of over 30 miles, that vet by law can access care at non-VA facilities. But when it comes to psychiatric care here in Indiana, that law may not help. A 2018 University of Michigan study found per capita, Indiana has among the fewest psychiatric providers, 47th among U.S. states. Steve Brown, CBS4 Investigates.